Why can't I buy solar panels with Bitcoin? With any kind of cryptocurrency? So lately, the new thing on all the PV, solar, wind, all this other stuff is talking about going to renewables because it's the new tech with other new tech, right? With other new fintech, if you will, cryptocurrency, blockchain technology. And no question, I think, how many years down the road, who knows? It's, it's definitely a likelihood of where it will end up. The problem is the security measure, right? So even with Bitcoin, even in, you know, it, it's only a couple days away from 2018, they still haven't identified who created it. There's a lot of trust factor issues in with that. As you know, in solar, there's been, I mean, solar's been out since the 60s. Just now, we're starting to accept it and trust it. So there's a lot of trust issues. We have a lot of hurdles we have to get over. I think America as a whole, when it comes to our money, we seem to be trusting of anything that makes us richer, right? A lot sooner than something that could save us money. I mean, exactly, like if, if I buy a dollar of Bitcoin and tomorrow it's worth $20, Americans will trust that a hell of a lot sooner than if I buy uh, a dollar of solar panels and it will save me $20 over a long period of time. We seem to take our time with that. Strange, isn't it? Does the same thing, saves, makes, whatever money, the transfer is still there, yet, because it's not instant gratification in our Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, social media, smartphone world, it's not instant, it's not trustable right away, unfortunately. So, there's a lot of talk about cryptocurrency and how we can adapt that to make it purchase renewables, batteries, things like that. Like I said earlier, I think, no doubt, in 10 years, this is a whole other conversation we all have. For today, for right now, when Bitcoin can go from, you know, uh, 14,000 to 17,000 in a matter of hours, which, you know, there are stocks that do that too, individual stocks, there's usually reasons behind it, there's rationale behind it, there's mergers, investors, things like that. When something that nobody knows who created it, and there's uh, security breaches inside of Coinbase and all this other stuff, uh, insider issues already, and that's before it even hit 20K. Can you imagine if Bitcoin goes to 100,000 a coin, the security issues there'll be then, right? There's another whole industry that's coming up behind this with cybersecurity, I think is gonna grow and do really well, coupled with the cryptocurrency challenge that's coming up as it gets to higher amounts, things like Litecoin, and they start to get more expensive. So the point is, I wanted to make a video to talk about the dress. I think very, very, very few people are talking about this. I find that really strange. Uh, I'm not quite a millennial myself, but I do understand the shift, the paradigm shift that's about to happen with maybe potential online everything, right? I mean, online purchases for everything, real estate transactions are about to go online. I think we're gonna see voting on smartphones in the near future. And I think cryptocurrency is another avenue and it's just heading that way. As soon as we get to the, you know, the internet of things, virtual reality, AI, all this stuff, no question it's going that way. But today, when People message and say, hey, can I trade in some Bitcoin, buy some solar panels? No, right? Because by the time the transaction is done, it could be $1,000 or less. So who knows, right? But just wanted to talk about a little bit about it for some of you. I know very, very few people are in both right now, I think, because both will require a massive amount of attention, whether it be you know renewables, it's a 24-7 job. To follow that, and stay updated, and also so our, obviously finances, especially crypto, because it's literally minute by minute, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Unlike the stock market, foreign exchange, a forex, all this, it doesn't close. It's 24/7. So I wanted to just make a quick video about it, and um, hopefully touch base with some commonality with some of you folks that there watching us. And if you have any questions or comments, please drop them below. Thanks so much.